Hello and welcome to Periodonics 3. This course will build upon your foundational knowledge of periodonics and is focused on the surgical aspects of periodonics. This course may be different than any other course you have taken before in its design. This course is known as a hybrid course. Typically these co courses are mostly online with some classroom interface. The course syllabus is posted in Canvas where you can refer to the course content and things such as learning objectives and grading. We will also have classroom sessions. These sessions will be optional to attend, but it's a time when I will be available to answer questions related to the course material. Each area of study has multiple modules to view, and quizzes are going to be interspersed throughout the course to test your knowledge of the subject area. I am your course instructor, Dr. Chuck Powell. My office is on the first floor, room 130K. I generally don't have much time for office hours, but feel free to come by Graduate Periodonics or send me an email if you have questions about the course material. Let's now begin. The basis of any treatment starts with diagnosis and treatment planning. Through your prior courses in periodonics, you know that this entails getting the appropriate consults first, be they medical or dental. Next, we need to provide tailored instructions in oral hygiene to our patient. Other elements of the initial phase of periodontal therapy may include scaling and root planing, extraction of hopeless teeth, caries control, or occlusal adjustment. Four to six weeks after completion of initial therapy, we are at a point of reevaluation. Now this is a crossroad because based upon our patient's home care and response to initial treatment, we may need to repeat the scaling and root planing. It is possible that you have stabilized the patient's periodontal condition, or maybe their health or hygiene doesn't support surgical therapy. In this case, periodontal maintenance is appropriate, with the frequency of this periodontal maintenance tailored to each patient. If the patient's hygiene is good, but there are still deeper probing depths remaining, the surgical treatment plan can be considered. Simply put, periodontal surgery is the surgical manipulation of the gingiva, root, or roots and bone. Our goal is to create an oral environment that is conducive to maintain the patient's dentition in health, comfort, and function. Bear in mind that each treatment plan is specific to the individual patient. As such, in this course, we will be dis discussing the following therapies. We will be looking at gingivectomy and gingivoplasty, flap curatage, or open flap dividement, osseous therapy, whether it be resective or regenerative, and evaluate multiple different types of materials to obtain a regenerative response. We'll also be looking at gingival augmentation when individuals are lacking keratinized gum tissue. In addition, you have probably read about and have had patients ask you about the use of lasers for periodontal treatment. We will discuss this therapy as well and present to you the latest evidence. Dental implants will be a large part of your practice in the future. As such, we will be discussing guided bone regeneration and sinus augmentation, and letting you know what is really possible. In addition, we will discuss the dark side of dental implants, that is, peri-implant mucositis and peri-implantitis. Now let's begin the journey. <music> 